Gotta say, there's something about homemade pasta and seafood that is just music to many people's appetites. Well, you know what? Today we're gonna give the people what they want. I wanna welcome Chef Ed Ebert of Alora and Arosa at the Pearl. Chef, we're giving the people what they want. Absolutely, the breakfast of champions. Oh, which is? Well, today we've got a tuna carpaccio. Okay. And um, if you wanna help me get that started, Absolutely. this is uh, something we feature every day down there okay. so so we'll give it a little bit of this the drizzle is this olive oil a, a little bit of is olive this oil arugula a little arugula okay. alias rocket Ali what are you what do you mean Ali um it was known as rocket they tell me back in the 80s really? not that i'm that old oh okay no you're, you're not old and, at all and then Interesting. Uh, we'll give it a little lemon juice okay and then if you, you want to put one on the tuna Look how itself you cut this why is it cut like that we just we were looking it was something Dang. i saw when i was down in the mediterranean and uh wow eating calamari at a, at a little place and they, wow they, you're not making me jealous or anything just a unique cut you know wow i love that and it, it is kind of easier to squeeze as well absolutely okay. so absolutely. the more lemon the better and mm. then we'll put a little bit on each one let's hit it with a little salt and pepper okay let me get you with the pepper there a little sprinkle sprinkle yeah okay and then um we'll Keep give mixing it, it up. right in the center and what makes carpaccio okay to eat raw um, it's the quality of the fish. What a great question. This is ahi saku, which is like the uh, tenderloin, the filet mignon of the tuna, if you will. I thought this Just was center meat. Cut. I center thought it cut. was steak. I may have missed you say that it was seafood. No, it is actually seafood. So Whoa. Alora and Arosta, we feature a lot of seafood. Arosta is uh, a celebration of the sea, if you will. So Yes, it's, and you guys just revamped your menu, revamped. which is why I wanted to bring you on the show. Yes. Oh my goodness, it is so delicious there. So this is, tell me again, it's ahi? Ahi saku. Ahi it's, saku. it's the center cut. Okay. So we'll, we'll give it a little flavor. Okay. We'll sprinkle some capers around. Okay, I love capers. And they're crispy. And, uh, and Do you just kind of fry these up yeah, with Yeah, we oil? fry them in a little olive oil. Oh, yes. And then yes. we give them a little of this calabrese peppers. Okay. And um, Not too spicy, Chef. You are don't, so don't, higher, Don't get it Roma. too spicy. <laughs> you know, I try. I, I honestly give credit to all the chefs that come on the show and help me out. So and you're one of them. We'll give them a little chives maybe on both. Chives, okay. Why all these flavors? I wouldn't think well, the, chives. The, the tuna is. Um, buttery, okay. um, neutral. It's got a little bit of fat to it. Sure. So we'll pick up the flavor with a little lemon olive oil. Okay. And uh, so give do it a you little put drizzle. Lemon in it, or do you infuse it? How do how do you make it a lemon olive oil? We actually infuse it with uh, with lemon. Oh, so, delicious. Um, yes, and then heat it a little bit, okay. and then let it steep in, and. Uh, I think you know what you're doing, Chef. Tell moisture. me about your career. You've been cooking for a long time, and you said you've done TV segments before, so we, you were excited to come on. One or two. I, I've been cooking, uh, it was to put myself through college, and then I fell into love with cooking and out of love with third-year calculus. So I would you know. be the same as you. Let me tell so you, I am not much of a math person. But let's call in Chef Anthony, who helps you all the time out of Rosa. He actually yes. cooked my meal last week. It was so yes. delicious. What are we making over here? Chef Anthony is making our fettuccine di mare. So um, one of the coolest things about um, both concepts, Alora and Arosta, sure. we make all of our own pasta each and every morning. So every we've, morning. we've got a couple down here. What are these? What are, what are we looking at here? This one is a fettuccine. Fettuccine traditional. Which, traditional. Which fettuccine traditionally is this thick, right? Correct. Okay. And then uh, we're a little thicker. Okay. A lot of times in Italy it'll be hand cut, but this uh -huh. is the tagliatelle. Okay. This is a linguine. Oh, linguine. Uh, we super proud of this one. This is an extruded pasta that comes through a machine, but we use spinach. We cook down spinach and use that to flavor the dough. No food color. And this is just spaghetti? And this is a bucatini. Yeah, just like a spaghetti, but it's made with semolina, so the color's different. Not, not any egg in that one. This is, y'all, literally music to everyone's appetites right now. So what is Chef doing? He He's, just put onion. I saw a right? whole array of... Octopus, shrimp? Yes, shrimp, calamari. What is this uh, that he, he just calls put in that, there? Uh, Chef Anthony likes to call that love sauce. Love sauce. Um, it's a roasted garlic, shallots, I smell this. I uh, a little smell olive this. oil, lemon juice, parsley. Um, lifts up the flavors while while he's. Uh, I could eat that like just like yogurt. <laughs> <while> <laughs> he's building it. It's it, so delicious. My mouth is watering. Okay. So he also and, uh, put some some chiles in there, some right? Some chiles, some Fresno chiles, Fresno some uh, chiles. calabrese chiles, which are. What's he doing you know, there? He's hooking uh, it a up. Little, he's hitting it with a little white wine, kind white of deglazing. Wine? the plant okay. uh, the pan to okay. get all those beautiful flavors that are that are roasted into the pan so, itself and that was lemon juice uh, and that is lemon juice so we do a lot of roasting there's uh, a roaster obviously Italian for 
uh, roasting. Oh. Uh, we also did a pan roasted cioppino this morning, uh, which is a nod to my lovely wife. Oh, She's, uh, she loves to make that at home, which turned into a tr tradition for Christmas time. That's incredible. Uh, so you have two chefs in the house. Oh yeah, she's definitely the big chef. I, I, uh, I'm her sous chef. Well, hello wife, you, you guys are a great team for sure. Happy and anniversary. Happy anniversary, so many celebrations yeah. today. I'll tell you why we have another celebration later on the show. So now, so this now he is. he made a little San Marzano uh, sauce to give it, give it the red that? color. What is that, San Marzano? He's roasted onions and tomatoes and garlic Delicious. and basil and lots of love. Oh, and then uh, he's using that to pull everything together. We'd normally, chef would be cooking his pasta right now because sure. it's fresh. It would cook in just a couple of, course, of minutes. Of course. So we took the liberty of, of getting some ready chef, for him. Can I hook you up and put this in there? Okay. This is the, hold on, don't get it wrong, the fettuccine, right? Of course. The noodles, correct? Correct. Right? Perfect. <laughs> there you go. Homemade every morning. So the cool thing about Arosa and Alora is you're saying that people can get their parking validated. Because I know is, that's been an issue at the Pearl. People are like discouraged because of the having to pay. Parking can be a challenge there. And, and in, within our building, we've got both of our restaurants. And uh, both are validated parking. Just bring your receipt in. We give you a sticker. and you get So you can get in and out for lunch and, uh, in cool. a matter of minutes. Well, y'all have to get out there and visit Chef Anthony and Chef Ed. Thank you both so much You're so for welcome. being with us. Are, did you make homemade bread? Were you I about to hand say, me yeah, a big old loaf yeah, of bread? Yeah, we this is, oh we're making fresh bread my. down there every day as well. Y'all, too stuff. delicious. So just go down to the Pearl, check out Alora, or this was Arosta who we featured today, and you're sure to get your seafood cravings fulfilled. Absolutely. Thank y'all so much. This looks so delicious. Stay with us, y'all, because there is a lot more.